It is time for Fantasy Foot. It has just hit six o'clock. No promo time. Let's see what EA have got for us today. Now, we already know earlier, for those of you that missed it, EA messed up massively. If you had a normal Christian Eriksen in your club, uh, the Brentford version, then he uh, got upgraded to a 90 rated version. Now, he was broken up until this very second and you could not look at his in-game stats. Now it's hit six o'clock. We can actually see his stats and it's not bad. It's, it's not actually quite as good as I was hoping it would be. However, this is a new promo. This card can get upgraded. And we'll talk about how those upgrades work in just a second. But check your club, check your transfer list, any of that stuff. If you had normal Brentford 82 Ericsson, then you can get his upgraded version. It will just be in your club. Now, here's the EA tweet. We will load that in a second. First up, complete... Okay, uh, take to the field with your base gold rare and team of the week players and complete in the compete in the classic cup. Overall, you can get a 100k pack for just winning games. And the packs get better and better with each win that you get. So win 14, this is out for 13 days, uh, 14 days. Complete this extra classic cup objective today to earn a premium gold players pack. Win two games. Okay. Before we look at anything else, let's see what this entails. So, friendlies. Play online. We've got the classic cup. So, only base gold rares and team of the weeks can enter. Attempts per day, three. So you need to win one match of your three each day to get the maximum amount of rewards. So loan players, none. It has to be gold rares or team of the week players. Interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting. Now, let's look at the objective player. Who we can see here is Fancy Foot, Mr. Moses Simon. Now, we'd have to look in-game to see whether he's actually double four-star or not. Um, I don't know if this is the kind of promo where they're going to give you better skill moves and weak foot. I'd be surprised straight after foot birthday, but you never know. Looks sick. I remember Simon's team of the season card a few years ago. It was absolutely unreal. One of the best red cards that I got that entire year. He was amazing. So I imagine this card will probably play very well. With how the game plays this year, he'll bang it. Now you need to play in savvy signings with a full squad of players bought for less than 2,000 coins each. Now I wonder if that means that untradables count. Or first owners count. Or if you actually have to buy the cards. That's a really, really interesting concept. Let's check it out. To see what the restrictions are. It's a very interesting idea. Savvy signings. First owned players exactly zero. Wow. Okay. Now, there's no limits to the amount of games that you can play in this. So you actually have to go out and buy a team. So, like, I don't know. Some people may have got lucky earlier in the year, and they may... Well, I don't, I don't know if his price has ever gone below it, but maybe you managed to buy someone like... Oh, see, my Kimpembe is untradeable. That's a really, really cool concept for a friendly mode. As is the other one, to be honest. I, you know what, EA? I'll give you a bit of props there. I, th I think you've done well. I think I think both of those are cool ideas, and I like it. I'm interested to see if we see more of those going forward. Now, what have we got as SBCs? We got Tenali. Three-star, four-star, medium-high. 
for a DM. Uh, good pace. Great shooting. Really, really good passing. Solid dribbling. Surprisingly low defending for a DM card. And then physicals are good. It looks good. It doesn't look, like, outrageous. Like, it's going to... I don't know. Maybe if you... If you want like a shadow card on this, then you actually look at his passing and dribbling for a DM. Then maybe he does actually look pretty ridiculous, to be fair. He needs an 83 with a team of the week, an 85, and an 86. Okay, it's... And he's out for a week. That seems like okay value, to be honest with you. Did we get anything else? Complete this fantasy foot challenge to earn a reward. Rare Electrum Players Pack. Requires a 75 rated team with a couple of bits and bobs. Okay, that's fine. Real Madrid fourth kit. So, let's see what EA have got to say about this then. Foot Fantasy brings a new dimension of live dynamic items to FIFA 22. With initial boosts and beginning the 1st of April, the chance for players to earn up to plus three overall upgrades based on their individual contributions. So how does this work? Let's see. So at launch, you get your base rating. So let's take Ericsson, 90. If this, oh, so it is an individual player thing. If this player makes three appearances in the next five games, they get an upgrade. If they win one of their next five games, then they get another upgrade. If they get a goal or an assist, if they're an attacker or midfielder, then they get an upgrade. If they're a defender or goalie, they get an upgrade for one clean sheet. So in theory, let's say Ericsson gets one assist. Brentford beat us at the weekend 1-0. And Ericsson gets the winning assist. He already gets two upgrades. And then if he plays in two more games, he's up to a 93. Well, actually, no, because that isn't after April the 1st. But you get the point, right? So this means that we will have both teams out. And then starting two weeks today... That is when the games are going to count. So anything that happens this weekend, ignore it. It does not matter. But okay, that's really cool. That's cool. Uh, this is the team. I don't know why it's so zoomed out. We've got... You, you know what? Their Twitter picture was better. Here we go. So, Rashford... Gets a banging card. St. Maximan gets a striker card that looks insane. Wow. Nani comes in. His return to Serie A with an outrageous card. Jimenez with a big boosted card here. We've got Klosterman, 90 pace, looking mad. Camavinga, this does not surprise me at all. I just can't wait for probably Ferland Mendy to get one next week. Van der Beek gets... An amazing boost as an Everton card now. John Stones looks mad. Gelson Martins was rumoured to be in the last promo. He's in this one. We've also got Inyaki Williams. I hate this guy. Jose Sarr. Now, Wolves have kept a decent amount of clean sheets this year. So, one clean sheet in the next five games seems very, very doable for Sarr. Uh, Audrey Zola. Nice little hybrid card. And then Roussillon for that hyperlink to La Croix. So that is what we get today. There will be a team two. There will obviously be more players that come out through SBCs and objectives. Who are you most interested in? Let me know.